Mary Chrysler. Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to the channel. First and foremost, I did not uh, expect to upload a video today, but we are here, so Merry Christmas to you guys. I know I said it last video, but for real, uh, today is Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. Hopefully, Santa got you what you wanted. Happy holidays to you guys that don't celebrate Christmas. Uh, today, we're here with uh, Shocker, another pack opening, and uh, we got some pretty big boy packs. I think this is gonna be a bigger pack opening than yesterday's video. There's definitely way more packs this video. So first things first, as you can see here, we did get a free pack from EA. It includes a bunch of 90 overalls. I, I did not know who to take, so we're gonna talk about it together quickly. We have some Boxing Day packs out, which we are opening. We get uh, a Boxing Day Ultimate Choice pack. We get three of those. We get a Boxing Day Players pack and a uh, Team of the Week double pack. Uh, we got some um, Boxing Day cards out as well. Eric Johnson, uh, OEL, Andrew Gatto, Robert Thomas, Yoki Haru, Verona, uh, Grabner. And that's about it. Same content from yesterday's video pretty much, uh, excluding those guys. So here uh, I did open up this pack. I wasn't sure who to take. And I'm still not 100% sure. I'm leaning towards either Michael or Michael Grabner, either Philip Zadina or Hear Me Out, even the goaltender. Um, Barra has some good synergies, dude. I use both Bombarded and Distributor. Um, and I think I'm gonna go with Barra. I've been looking for a goalie. Zadina looks amazing. I just don't use any of these synergies anymore. Even just no synergies activated, he looks amazing. But Barra, man, looks pretty good. He's got light work um, as an ability. He's got x-ray and then he has post to post, which is pretty good. So, ooh, I almost took the wrong guy. We're gonna go with Rito Barra. I might regret it, but the way I look at it is if I do regret it, I could just go buy another goaltender and then put this 90 overall into a set and get some collectibles for it pretty self-explanatory there so that's a 90 overall i went with uh let me know what you guys went with with your 90 overalls i'm, I'm, I'm curious to see uh what the meta was this year for the 90 overall pick and here we have 12,300 points available we're gonna open up all of these boxing day ultimate choice packs so we get three of them we're gonna open up i think all of these boxing day players packs and then maybe some of the holiday eve packs so um let me do the math first because i want to keep the ultimate choice packs to last okay so i just did the math i can open up three of the boxing day uh players packs and three of the ultimate choice packs so looking at the boxing day uh player pack uh we have a 50 percent chance at an 86 plus player 100 percent chance at an 83 plus so this is 25 items 10 gold players and at least 184 plus player or better all right so here we go give me something good here yay packs were amazing for me yesterday we're hoping that they continue to be great for me here today okay so here we go we get to open up three of these bad boys who's going to be our 84 plus that is a question so these gold players are great and it's a purple 88 daniel sedin that's a pretty cool card um decent synergies wingman uh buzzing i don't think i'd use them i'm either gonna sell them or use them for a set but that's a purple pull we'll take it uh daniel sedin that's a purple uh and as i was saying before i pulled them these gold players are gonna be great because i need some x factor uh collectibles to upgrade my x factor players so uh yeah that's definitely a good pull we will definitely take a daniel sedin this pack's a big boy 85 john gibson i didn't know he was an 85 this year so we get an 88 and an 85 in this pack and then a john manson so not a bad first pack here boys all right we got two of these bad boys left and uh, clearly they're a little juice today we like that so uh let's see what we can get in this one here we got 184 plus overall again jumbo joe we do miss him on toronto uh just a great guy to have around that's for sure uh can we top an 88 overall that is the question i just want to see that purple when you see a purple man it's just a good feeling or or i've yet to pull a power up icon um, that would be great to pull as well. So uh, let's see what we can get here. Will Butcher, I thought that was going to be our 84 plus. Not bad. We're still waiting for our 84 plus. Jordan Stahl, okay. Uh, there's our 84 plus. Johnny Bauer, not a bad pull. It could have been better, obviously. But hey, Johnny Bauer at an 84. We pulled a couple 80 pluses as well. That's it for that pack. Definitely not the greatest. Um, it is what it is. All right, last one of these, and then we get the ultimate choice packs. Those are my favorite packs to open, man. They should be pretty good for us here, okay? So here we go, John Stevens. Who's gonna be our 84 plus overall? Please make it a purple or a power-up icon. Not an icon, a power-up icon, okay? Come on, here we go. This is a big boy pack, by the way. Gabe Velarde, man, I see that gold tint, and I'm like, that's our 84 plus, isn't it? It's an 81 plus, so we still have our 84 plus available here. Christopher Letang, okay, that, that scared me a little bit too. 750 coins, that's nice, we'll take that. Andres Janssen, uh, and there's our 84 plus Sebastian Ajo. That, that one definitely hurts the soul a little bit there. The, anything in the rest of the pack doesn't look like it. 284s and an 88 in these packs isn't bad. 
is it the greatest though? I don't know. So we're moving on to the ultimate choice packs. We, we know what these are. It's a total of 15 players over five rounds. They're all at least 80 overall or better. We get a 83% chance at an 86 plus player and a 7.8% chance at a 90 plus where over here we had a 50% chance at an 86 plus. So here we get an 83% chance at an 86 plus. Let's see what we can get here. Five rounds. Let's go. Give me something good. Justin Falk, uh, Olofsson, okay. Uh, Christopher Letang and William Nylander. Let's go with Will Nye, the hockey guy. We'll go with uh, Falk and Christopher Letang, okay. Three picks in each round. Not a bad first round. Second round, Justin Schultz, uh, Jesper Bratt, Ryan McDonough, and Sergei Bobrovsky. We'll go Bobrovsky, McDonough, and Justin Schultz. -y. Third round here. Come on. We get to open up three of these, man. Like, three of them. We get to open up all of them. We should get some decent luck in these, man. You would hope. Third round ain't the greatest. We're going to go with Jacob Chitrin, uh, Brent Burns, and Sean Monahan. I think this is round four out of five here. Joel Farabee, uh, Schmoltz, uh, Anderson, and Sergachev. So we're really waiting till this last round here, eh? All right. Fifth round. Purple pull incoming. Come on. We get an 83% chance. Valerie and Shuskin. Interesting card. 85 overall. Uh, I probably wouldn't use him, but it's a decent looking card. Uh, Mort Sider at an 84. Purple. 90 overall Robert Thomas. That is the new Boxing Day card. This card looks actually nasty. Uh, fly the zone and buzzing. So if you get Fly the zone activated, 91 speed, 94 offensive awareness. Pretty good durability. Uh, decent face offs, but he's not a face off man. It's a purple pull. We'll take a Robert Thomas and a Matthew Kachuk. So Robert Thomas, Mort Sider, and Valerie Nishuskin. Don't mind if I do. There is our purple pull. Hopefully he goes for a little something, something. But hey, man, that's a pretty good pack. Uh, pretty good 90 overall. He just came out. He's got to go for something, please. All right, we get two of these packs left, man. I am, I am just like buzzing right now. Like, let's keep these good pulls coming. Give me some more purples. So first round, Philip Forsberg, Tyson, Barry, Dadanov, and Uyghur. So we'll go uh, Dadanov, Barry, Forsberg in the first round. Not too bad. We didn't get anything until the last round, last pack. So maybe that's where it's going to be hiding. Maybe the fifth round is where everything is. As clearly, uh, it, it looks to be true so far. Uh, heading into round three with yet a, uh, without a pull, over 83. So Chris Kreider, Kevin Fiala, and Radulov, and Garland. So we'll take our 82s. Don't mind if I do. Uh, this is round four. Round four, Casey Zizekas, Tyler Toffoli, Brandstrom, and Connor Brown. So we'll go downtown Connor Brown, Brandstrom, and Toffoli. Last round here, Power Up Icon, man. Would be so sick. Power Up Icon or just a purple pull. Dylan Larkin. We get an 83% chance. We pull in a true skin again. 83% chance at an 86+. plus. Wow, that is bad. We get an 83% chance at an 86+, plus, and we don't even get 186. We got one, two 85s. But not 186 plus. That definitely hurts. The good thing is we have one more pack. And we're hoping that last pack is going to be fire. All right, EA, for real, don't make me cry here. Give me a big boy pull. We need something big. Okay, something big here. Let's go. First round, Konechny, uh, Seth Jones, Krejcic, and Evgeny Malkin. So we get an 85 in the first round. That's the first time there. Okay, we'll take an Evgeny Malkin. Don't mind if I do. Second round. Vetrano, uh, PK Subban, Shattenkirk, and Anderson will take our 81s. Don't mind if I do. Third round here. We're flying through these packs, but like I'm just excited to see what I get. You know what I mean? Kale McCart in 84, the Brinkat and Butcher. So we'll go uh, the Brinkat McCart Arvidsson. Four out of five here, I think this is. Yep, four to five. Blake Coleman. Uh, JVR, uh, Trocheck, and a Comper. So we'll take those. And last round here, please, EA. I beg, I beg. At least a purple in this. Drew Doughty at an 84. Kyle Connor. Oh my God. Jonathan Taze. And not even a purple. Man, really? These packs said, hey, Leafer, take a hike. That's what they just said to me. Now, one purple in this. We pull one purple out of this whole pack opening, which. You know, we'll, we'll take a Robert Thomas, but they definitely could have been better if we're going to be honest with each other here. I'm going to see how much these guys go for, and uh, I'll report back to you. So looking here, Daniel Sedin's around like 20K, so that's definitely not ideal there. And then looking at Robert Thomas, please be something, uh, about 40-ish K, so not too bad. 
could definitely be better though. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We upload three times a week here. Um, but guys, like I said, I uh, hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. Hopefully you got everything you guys wanted. And uh, let me know which 90 overall you guys took. Let me know if you open up any of these packs, if you guys pulled anything better than I did or anything good. Uh, but like I said, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.